but welcome back to another channel. So on today we're doing another photo shoot. We currently have a different wardrobe. What's going on? Let me let me. I'm gonna make myself a coffee too, but I think I'm gonna just take it a go. But anyways, so we are looking pretty different today, to be honest. Um, we are currently wearing just some regular like weird clothes, I guess you could say. Let me get a mirror. Well, this is the outfit of the day, you guys. We have a regular black top with some blue Zara pants and some US polo shoes because we just want to take a picture from up above. So on my head, I have like a scarf looking like, and I was thinking of putting this like a tube top, but I would never wear that to begin with. I did put my lashes. Yep, found you. Alrighty, now we have our wallets, we have our this, we have our that, and that's all we need. So we are all set to go take pictures. Let's roll. On our, we're on the road, and we are on the most craziest drive. Honestly, I do not like driving this side, but Siri made me, and it's fine. We are near UCLA, which honestly, the drive here is like white, you know? So we did it. We came over here to the park just to take pictures. And honestly, it wasn't bad. I just can tell that a lot of people are looking at me. And um, I have my mask here, so I make sure that no one's around me. But you know, people love to stare. And I paid the meter, so I stopped some few times. That was fast, easy, and beautiful. Oh god, I have hair all over my lips. All right, time to go to grab something to munch. Why not? So we went ahead and we got food for the family. We went to um, here in Hawaiian Gardens, I believe it's called. Anyways, we came here to the Peruvian place to go get some food and I have it all here. We have the goods, we have the goods, and we have the goods. Literally, they're like, oh, it's gonna take 15 minutes for chicken. That's fine, I can wait. Their food is amazing. Like, if you have a location where the food is amazing, you're willing to wait the time. And you so you guys, I just watched a video of this young lady named Olivera Music. Now let me just say, this young lady is at a Walmart, for starters, right? She's at a Walmart. And um, I don't really understand why does she feel entitled to be doing a video like this. I'm gonna lower it on the music. So this lady is literally in Walmart, as you guys can see in Walmart and she is DIYing her stuff to show things. First of all, why don't you just buy all your stuff and do it at home? Like why are you over here opening up products? And this is why Walmart has like a lot of things that are like MIA things or things that are open because of people like this. Like I'm hoping that this lady bought all the crap and did not leave everything half ass open because there is a lot of YouTubers that have done it and I've noticed and I'm like, um, hello? Literally, all for just to show that the banana could become like a freaking slimy, gooey thing. Like, baby girl, why on earth could you not just do it at your house? Like, what was it so hard that you couldn't just buy the things that you needed to do at your house? Like, does she do this often? <sighs> things like this irk me around the world. You guys, we are back here in Lake Waboa Park. Alright guys, so we are here. We um, just filled up gas right now because we need some gas. We are here on our way to find a Valentine's outfit. Yes, a Valentine's outfit. Um, I'm looking for something cute. I went to Ross and Ross didn't really have any other selections. So we're going to be driving around to see if we find anything that's cute, you know? That's kind of like V-Day attire. Oh, this is weird. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. So I really have not been in a TJ Maxx. Max 
in a very, very, very long time. So I'm pretty like, hmm, wow, why am I, there we go. So let's see, it's called Village Walk. And um, let's see, it says 10 minutes, oh, the first 90 minutes is free, anything additional, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna be here for so long. 90 minutes is a pretty long time. So we're here at Village Walk. Let's see what's the 411. Ladies, let's be real. We have a crap load of clothing. And I mean, if we could just, I don't know, maybe like revamp one of our outfits. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, let's go inside to see what we see. Make sure we do have our mask on at all times. And um, put your mask on. You must be covering your nose, mouth, and chin at all times. Please never disregard that part. And um, let's go see. Let's go. All right now, so we're here. Oh, wow, I didn't read that one. All right, let's go ahead. Right, so they had nothing here. So let's go to probably, I guess we could say, a vintage store. All right, this one sucked. All right, guys, so we're exiting because we didn't find absolutely anything. Well, I didn't find out. We, I didn't find absolutely anything from this location. Honestly, like it was more like for my mama or my abuelita style of clothing. Let's just be honest. Oh my God, you guys, it's getting really freaking hot. Like, why is it so hot? <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. Ooh, this Ross looks very promising. It looks pretty freaking big. So well, I have high hopes for you, Ross. So as soon as I entered on this Ross, you guys, literally most of them were empty. But I found the gold mine that I was looking for the last time, which was a red bodysuit. Unfortunately, it was still large. So I kept on searching and I had high hopes. They had a few dolly dresses here and there, but they also had the spanks that Amber Scholl was talking about. I was like, ooh, but I found the red one, you guys. Perfect size in medium. Now they did have a large dress selection. They had a lot of like the flowery, flowy dresses. But again, this Ross was pretty cleaned out, which is surprising because a lot of Rosses are kind of cleaned out here and there. So I don't know if they're just remodeling. I don't know what's the 401, but I'm starting to like the whole flower dresses, but I'm not a dress girl. So you guys don't know what the Spanx I'm talking about. Amber's girl ha um, posted that she wore Spanx as a new dress, and I was like, ooh, let me find one. Unfortunately, all of them were like in the size large or extra large, but you know, it is what it is. You sometimes get lucky, you sometimes don't. And then I found the mother load of bodysuits and cute tops, but again, none were my size, which really sucks at this point. So they did have like a beautiful Valentine selection, which was actually pretty freaking gnarly. They had these Starbucks cups, which is a little bit pricey, the chocolate. But I mean, hey, go to Ross for right, Valentine's. Guys, so I did end up getting something, and it's the one that I wanted since the longest, since my last video. So I'm pretty excited. Now, let's just go and see what there is around here. Um, I guess let's walk around. Why not, right? All right, guys, so we're here at the Dollar Tree, and let's hope we find some stuff. I'm actually looking for like vinyl paper. Last time I found it but let's see if we find any here. So no luck with the vinyl paper, but I did find more acrylic paint, which I'm so stoked to show you guys what I ended up buying and just show you guys what I've been working on. So stay tuned for next video. I love you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Adios.